Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to have a quick tidy up of my room and Sophia's room. It's not too much of a mess really, I've just got to pick up a couple of bits off the floor, hoover it, a couple of Sophia's toys, make my bed and I'm going to try and get them stickers off the telly and I'll show you the mould problem in my room as well. So I just started by picking stuff off the floor really. There's a couple of items of clothing and Sophia bought some of her toys in. I just, for now, I've just put it on her bed because it was easier. So I'll have to tidy it up again in a minute when I tidy Sophia's room. But I think this, I filmed this the day after um, what happened, happened with work. Um, so I was trying to keep busy, but I'm not going to lie. Her housework has gone to pot since so when I finished this voiceover I need to sort myself out and sort it out I think I'm going to start with the washing I've got like f at least four loads of washing to sort out and yeah just whereas before I'd see like oh I've got to do this got to do that and it's like I can't be asked. it's only been a few days and I'm just feeling a bit lost like I should be somewhere but obviously I don't need to be anywhere um, I only had one day at my other job this week and I've already done that. So it's been a pretty quiet week, too quiet. And, you know, I like to keep busy. Um, I've been thinking, oh, well, I can do this or that. And I go to do it and it's like, no, I can't do that today. So I don't, uh, I need to sort myself out. But today I'm going to get a load of washing done when I've done this voiceover try and do something <laughs> but yeah this was filmed the, the day after so the Tuesday I think I meant to do it on the Sunday or Monday but because of what happened Monday I, I've put it off a day so here I'm just tidying up the bed and then them bits of clothes on the bed are my partner's pyjamas it's got two pairs of pyjama bottoms there so I thought I'd chuck one in for the wash and then I'll just fold one up and put it on his pillow. And then the clothes that are on the end of the bed, they're like, you know, you get stuff you wear once or you wear it for an hour or two and it's still clean. So you think, oh, I'm going to wear it again. It's not worth washing. That is what the stuff on the end of the bed is. But I do need to cut down and get it worn or get it washed or something because it's annoying to look at the end of the bed. But yeah, I've got some like tops and trousers I can wear again. And there, just some more toys Sophia's left there. And in a minute, I'll show you these slippers. They're my little cat slippers. My mum got me these. I don't know if they're like Avon ones. But every now and then, I remember I've got them and I'll wear them. So this, it was a bad day because little things kept going wrong. And it wasn't just in my head. So I started using this hoover, thinking oh, I was going to work. As per usual, I don't, I don't know if it's because the hoover doesn't like me. It wasn't picking anything up. So I thought I'd press the carpet button, make it a bit more powerful. And then it just goes red. It doesn't want to work. So I think I've had it with this hoover now. I'm just going to stick to my Hetty. So I did try and get hairs and stuff at the bottom. I did this the other day. I cut them out. Just so I thought, oh, I might be blocking it a little bit. It might work better if I do that. It didn't do that. It just didn't want to play ball. So I thought, oh, forget this. I'll get Hetty out. So I got my Hetty out and I can't find the long tubey bit anywhere. It's got to be here somewhere. We lose it all the time. I don't know how you can lose it. It's big, but we lose it sometimes. Um... So I basically had to hoover the two bedrooms with just the little bit. As you'll see now, this is how I hoovered. And there's just loads of little things like this going wrong all day, which made me feel even more crap about my situation. Um, we, did, we went for a nice walk, actually, this day um, down to the beach. And then we're like, oh, we're hungry, we haven't eaten. I don't know what's going on down our seafront. Nothing's open. There's a couple of places open. We thought we'd try um, this place called Tony's Tea Room. Went in, 
it was so expensive and overpriced. We got the most cheapest thing on the menu. We got soup and bread. When the soup came, it was tiny. It was in a soup bowl, but a tiny one. And then the, I thought, oh, you get some nice, a bit of nice French stick with a little crusty bread. No, it's just like a loaf of bread. We bought Sophia a chocolate fudge brownie. She didn't eat it. To so come out feeling worse, I've just spent so much this money I could have saved and we could have felt fuller, felt better about it and just, it, it wasn't worth it. So loads of little things going wrong this day, but it's okay. That's life. So this is the mould problem. It was worse. Two, three weeks ago, I wiped it all down. I did wipe it down this day, but it didn't look any different. So I think that's it. Um, I really wanted to paint over it this day. I didn't feel like I had the energy I needed to do it, if that makes sense. So I, it didn't get done. I really wanted to do it, but it didn't get done. But as you see in a minute, I'll show you the cloth. It's like nothing's really coming off. So I don't think this had much of an impact. But I will clean it again before I paint it. And hopefully I can paint it soon. I want to get it done. Then I thought, right, I need to get these stickers off the telly. So I peeled them off. It did leave a bit of, like, the white... Well, like you see there. So I did use a damp cloth. So this, I used a damp... Um, cloth to get that stuff off and it worked so pretty pleased I managed to sort that out and then didn't really need much and then that's it the room is tidy I hoovered the floor made the bed opened the curtains um, I need to sort these bags out still of random stuff um, I didn't do that I need to do that one day there's my bum bag, I haven't even took the tag off yet, I haven't worn it, which is annoying. And then I moved on to Sophia's room. So, as you've seen in the past, this isn't even that bad for Sophia's room. They're, the toys on the bed are what I chucked on there from my room. So, as you can see, her room... Her wall, sorry, is mucky again. This is like chocolate. So I wiped it off as I did before with all the other stuff on there, like the Play-Doh on the wall. But this time it was taking the paint off the wall. I have had the paint for a long time, but the thought of pulling out her bed in such a little space and doing it has put me off. But I really need to paint this now. I can't keep wiping over it. The pink paint from underneath is starting to come through. Look, it's just taking the paint off. And you'll see in a minute, I'll show you that you can see like pink patches from the paint underneath. I did buy the same paint in the same finish, the matte finish. And now I think I should have bought the same paint, but in a silk finish. But I don't know if they had it in a silk finish. Um... I was trying to make my job easier and just so I didn't have to do all the edges and all that. And now I think, well, if I'm just going to paint it and have to keep cleaning it all the time. It's just going to keep taking the paint off. But I can't take it back now and I'm not buying more paint, so I'm just going to work with what I've got. But I'm, I'm going to have to find that motivation to pull out the bed and just get all this painted. Because look, you can see it there now. You can see the pink spots coming through. I can't leave it like that. There's loads of big... They're not big, but biggish jobs that I need to get done, like painting. There's flooring I want to do. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on that I want to do that... At the minute, I feel like I can't do it. And I know I can do it. It's just the mindset I'm in. So there is the paint showing through. It still works, obviously. I've just done it. I need... To, that wall's looking not very good. So I need to get that done. So I, tied, I made her bed to put her toys away. So I asked her... Um, 
the other day, do you want Peppa Pig bedding on your bed? I'm totally forgetting. It's not a single bed cover. It's a toddler bed cover. And of course she said yes. Um, so I was, I couldn't remember if I kept her toddler duvet. And then I thought, what am I going to do? She wants this on her bed. So in the end, I just folded up her duvet and then put that in that case, the duvet case. And it did work out in the end. I'm going to, at some point, I'll have to invest in a Peppa Pig um, single duvet cover if I can find one cheap enough. But for now, this will have to do. It's not that much smaller than a bed. It's just a little gap at the bottom. And she she looks dinky in that bed anyway. It's like a little double bed for her. So trying to straighten everything out. And then I did want to put her Peppa Pig picture up and um, there was something else I wanted to do in her room. It involves a drill, but I couldn't find my drill, so I didn't end up doing it. And it's going to make... I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm going to say it's going to make a difference in her room. But I couldn't get it done, so that's for another day. Um, I was a bit lazy. I, I, I couldn't be doing with the hassle going through the cupboard looking for it. So I asked my partner to, but he couldn't see it. So I think I'm going to have to pull everything out, which is OK, because I need to tidy that cupboard out anyway. It's the cupboard where all my tools and camping gear is kept and it's just a mess in there. Probably a lot of stuff that needs to go. So I'm just going to hoover her room. It's a good thing it's small because if she had quite a big room, I don't, I think I would have lost my sanity hoovering it like this. But yeah, definitely going to stick with a Hetty hoover until, I don't know if that one can be sorted. No matter what I do, there's always a red light or it won't pick up. The only room it picks up in is Dylan's room and the rug. I don't think it makes any difference in it because this carpet's thicker and it's well loved, this carpet. It's, it's got to be about 14, 13 years old. And then that, that happened as well. That just made my day as well. I thought I was picking up an empty packet of crisps. A load came out. Put what I could back in and I just hoovered up the rest. Yeah, just little things like that were happening this day, which was not helping my mindset. Yeah, but thank goodness she has a small room. This would have took a very long time otherwise. But yeah, I really need to find the other bit to the hoover. It can't be far. I mean, it's a large piece of the hoover. I don't understand where it is. Um, so yeah, so I've got to go on a hoover hunt to find where that is. So I put her rug back down. It's done very well since it's been washed. It feels like the same. It hasn't gone funny. So I'm pleased that worked out. So here is her unicorn picture. I feel stupid, but I've forgotten how much I paid for it. It was like one pound or one fifty from a charity shop the other day. So I did want to put it on that top shelf, but it didn't fix the um is it the coving or whatever you call it? So I've put it there. I had to put the dinosaur picture on that shelf. I might put it on the wall where what, there's something already up to hang it from. But also I wanted to put something else on the wall and I couldn't. But it will be going up. But I'm sorry it's a bit short today, but that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for your support and love and kindness. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon on another video.